What is the halfway point? Well, the halfway point is where we, we take a break. It's where we look back at all we've been through and regain strength to finish the rest of the story. Two songs away from finishing the album. A lot of times we only realize how strong we've become when we look back and see all we've actually done. Like for example, do you ever come across places or scents or or um, things that used to bring you so much pain? But then as time passes and wounds heal, you realize that what used to hurt you doesn't anymore. What used to scare you doesn't make a dent anymore. Why? Because while the memories do stay the same, because you have changed and you have grown, nothing is the same. And then and slowly you realize that what you thought would kill you, God used to make you stronger. What the enemy thought could could defeat you, God used to make you braver. And yeah, so here at the halfway point, we we go back a little and then Suspended in the air, I hear myself breathing Hanging by a thread, my heart is barely beating I haven't fallen yet, but I feel it coming Tell me, would it be too much to ask If you break it to me gently that I'm waking the next day without you beside me And who I hold on to today Tomorrow will just be a memory And then I will look back at all of this And wonder why I stayed in here Just to watch you disappear So I breathe and let it Let's 
Take a step away I know one word will make me go Rushing back to you I'll just shut my eyes Forget that you were mine How do you go from making one your home And then just letting it all go Let me take it in Before Twenty nineteen. I don't know. No, this is July thirteen, twenty sixteen. Before it became Tagalog, in July of twenty nineteen. Right. This was the first patawad. Sorry if I had to let you go. It's over. Game over. Paano na limuto ng lahat? And then I remember when Jason and I were friends. Palang. I sang him the song. And then when we were married now, years later, you were humming it in the car. And then I was like, what song is that? And then I said, no, it's my song. And then he made it into a Tagalog song. Wala nang tamis 
But he's more than just a great artist. He's also such a great human being. I'm so happy I got to travel with him and experience that. And I'm just so thankful that I get to solidify our friendship with a track that's so close to our hearts. See you. 
Sabi sabi is about gossip. Victim sha of gossip, victim sha of backstabbing, victim sha of false promises. But then eventually, because she was so hurt, she started gossiping, backstabbing. And so in the end, it's like, patawad kung sa kaling ikaw lang ang nasisi. Paano mababawi ang nabitaw ang sabi sabi? So from being a victim of sabi sabi to ikaw na yung nagbitaw ng mga sabi sabi. So yeah. That's, that's what Savi Savi is about. Lahat ng sinasabi Pato-pato sa langit Kung aalis lang pa sinimulan Mga mapangakong bibitawan Lang pala Kaya huwag magagalit Pag ako'y tumatahimik Atras at papali Naisip kong baka sakali Magsisisi man sa huli Wala nang magyayari Kasi ang kita sa pula Mawawala lang rin Magsisisi ba sa huli Kung di ka pa Well, 
Siglet was actually a funny story. Uh, it's actually one of my breakthrough accidental stories. Sir Jonathan Manalo had asked me if I could write uh, a soundtrack song for this teleserie called The Other Half, starring Kuya Carlo Aquino. And I had agreed, but then I forgot about it. Okay. On one of our trips to Olongapo, Sir Jonathan calls me and says, Moy, kamusta na yung song? I need it by tomorrow. Ah. I made something up on the spot. And I lied. <laughs> he gave me about three months to write it, and I never finished it. And and then I wrote the song on Essitex on the way home to Olongapo. And I finished the song in like 15 minutes. And I was very embarrassed about it. But when it finally won an award, I told him the truth. And that's the story of Sigrid. Malayo man ang distansya Di man marinig Ang boses mong aking nakasanayan Pipikit na lang muna At papagalingin Ang mga mata sa kaluluha at hihinga ng malalim At papakalmahin ang patalim Tapos na ang laban Salamat sa saglit Salamat sa Magsisisi Kahit di ka na sa akin Kung bukas man ako ay lilingon Magkikita sa tabi Na minsang sandali kang naging akin Sa paghulma ng paalam Di na matama Ang pagbitaw ng iyong mga kamay Pipikit na lang muna Iiwas ng tingin At aatras bago ito bawiin Hihinga ng malalim At papakalmahin ang patalim Tapos na ang laban Salamat sa saglit Salamat sa saglit Magsisisi Kahit di ka na sa akin Kung bukas man ako ay lilingon Makikita sa tabi Na minsang sandali kang naging akin Oh, at sa Masakit man magpalaya Doon ako kung saan ka sasaya Kung saan ka malaya Salamat sa saglit
Nila sa amin. And when they decide to produce it, mag-i-date na kami. Ruby, ano yung magandang feel? Sasabihin nila mo eh. That's what nila Jason. Ano yung intention nila? Ano yung feeling na gusto nila? Minsan isang araw Puso'y napasikaw Nahulog sa iyo't Di ko na matanaw Pangangatwiran ko'y Di na mapagkatiwalaan Oh, maso sa iyong Di na mabibitawan Na baka sa kalilang Di na masasaktan Ngunit pangangatwiran Mo'y di mapagkatiwalaan Kaya't baby Kita lang Tago-tagoan Maliwanag ang fun Masarap Mahal, pag hindi inivar Pag bilang mong tatlo Nagkatago na ako Ibalik ako sa nakaraan Langit ang natanaw Pangarap ay ikaw Lupa ang napikay Di na kapaghintay Sana napatintero Naiwasan ng impyerno Kaya't baby, kita lang At baka sa Sana karaan Pagdating sa dulo Ako'y nasaktan mo Sinubukang paglapan Sigaw ng puso ko Ngunit ba't pipilitin Ang di naman para sa akin Masarap magmahal Pag hindi iniwan Pagpilang mong tatlo Nagkatago na ako Ibalik ako sa nakaraan Nang tago-taguan Maliwanag ang fun Masarap magmahal Oh, 
Family ng Lola is actually the hardest song in the album. And the last one we got to finish. But the first one I started on because hindi ko siya masulat ng hindi ako ng break <laughs> I knew what I wanted to say and I wanted to put all her um, all her words of wisdom um, into song but I couldn't because every time I remember hindi ko siya kaya I know that it's not just me who lost somebody so this song is about all the things my lola told me Sabi ng lola, wag si mo ko kahit upos na dahil ang bagyoy na dadabos pero ang pagasa hanggang sa tulo. O sabi ng lola, wag papatol sa panghuhus ka kahit hindi ka. What was the easiest song you've ever written? I think it's Tagpuan. It's Tagpuan. I think it had something to do with me just being fully in the moment and realizing that 
I wasn't on a victory liner bus going home alone from Manila to Olonga po anymore, but you were actually bringing me home. Just being fully in that moment, realizing that the person I had been praying for was finally there. And like the breakthrough there really being what God had promised me before when I had so many questions. And then he said, just because your past was broken doesn't mean your future will be. And I really held on to that. And being in that car with you really showed me that God really does hear and answer prayers.
for me. But more so because it brought so many beautiful people into my life. And I'll always be thankful for these amazing people. Because of Malaya, now I get to spend seasons walking with the most incredible people. Pasensya na Kung papatulukin na muna Ang pusong napagod Kakahintay Kaya sa natitirang Segundong kaya kapka Maari bang magkunwari Akin ka pa Mangangarap hanggang sa pagbalik Mangangarap pa rin kahit Pagkasakali Makita kita muli Pagsikat ng araw Paglipas ng gabi Kung di pipilitin Ang di pa para sa Susuko na ang sandata Aatras na sa laban Di dahil naduduwag Kundi dahil mahal kita Mahirap ng labanan Mga espada ng orasan Kung pipilitin pa Lalo lang masasaktan Mga ngarap hanggang sa pagpalit
This is the song that Jason used para magtapat sa akin. <laughs> so, one time, dapat kasama namin si Nate Punzalan. Tapos hindi na siya nakapunta. So, we ended up having dinner together. And then, we were all supposed to go to Tagaytay. And then, yeah. tinuloy pa rin namin. And then, we ended up writing a song. Ano masabi ko kay Nate kung siya pumunta na? No. I did. You did? Binidihan ko yung burger ko, tapos pinahan ko kayo mo eh. Tapos, dapat sisend ko lang sa kabarkada ko, sa best friend ko. Caption ko is, di ko alam ko anong mas masarap. <laughs> Ay, may masarap kasama si Moy, o yung burger. Tapos na-story ko siya sa Snapchat. <laughs> Sakto nung, itidelete ko na, nawala na ako ng load. <laughs> Kailangan ko muna sa 7-11 para magpaload para madelete. And now we're married. <laughs> It worked. <laughs> Una kitang nasilay Di kita nakita Lumabas ng tingin Kung nagsasalita lang ang hangin Di nagdalong isip Agad ka sanang napansin Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ikaw pa rin ang hanap 
So halfway point is like a culmination, parang like a backtrack, a hindsight, sa journey ni Moy as an artist, sa journey namin as a group, as a band.
Paalam as my collaboration with Ben and Ben. I wrote it with Paolo, Miguel, and Jason. And it's about setting all your bitterness aside and saying goodbye to the regrets, to the pain, to the unforgiveness, to the bitterness. <laughs> and just really accepting that the choice to forgive is not theirs to make. Ding 
There was this one night when I was having the worst panic attack and I called Jason and he was at work and instead of going straight home to his then home in Paranaque, he went straight to me. But then he got stuck in traffic and he felt so helpless that he couldn't do anything for me at that very moment. So instead he wrote me a song called Emosyong Dinaan Sa Awit, aka Edsa while he was stuck on Edsa. And to this day, it, it serves as a reminder that even in times when I feel stuck, God is still and always will be with me. Okay, the God Kahit malayo na ang nilabay Nandirito pa rin ako hanggang ngayon Bitag ng lahat ng emosyon Paano nga ba kumawala Paano lumabay kung suko ka na? Paano umibig kung ayaw mo na? Ika'y nanatili sa aking tabi at pinaalala mo sa akin Nandito ka pa rin Sa bawat hapang Nagpapanggap na Ako'y matapang Naaalala ang mga nagkaraan Lahat ng mga natalong laban Ang pagsisi Tinanggal sa huli Paano lumabay Kung suko ka na Paano
best of friends to being strangers like what you're used to is being that person's person but then it's this is the the shift from okay now what how do i act around you do i say hi so you was ka na lang you was ka na lang you have to intentionally because you set your boundaries intentionally set boundaries because you want to be able to get the best person for you and you want him to get the best person for him Actually, my last breakup, it was a mutual breakup because we knew that we weren't good for each other. We both deserved better, but we both treated each other right. Magkukunwari na naman pang di kita kilala O oh, pwede pang Kahit isang sulyap man lang Bibigyan na lang ba o magkukunwari Di ako nasasaktan pag di mo pinapansin O oh, ii Man matago ang sakit Kaya patawad Kung lalayo na muna Di ba kasi kayang Makita ka O saan ba nagsimula Kung tago ating pagkawala Kaya patawad Kung lalayo na muna Di ba kasi kayang Makita ka Makita ka masaya Habang ako'y di makalaya Mahal pa daw Kung mahal pa rin kita oh,
it's not just one story. I think it took me about a year to finish. First, it started with my past relationship. And then, I watched Bing Bong. So I, I got to write a chorus. And then, our churchmates passed away. And one of them was safe. He gave up his life so that his fiance can live. And so that was the, the second verse. And then the last one, the bridge, it only was completed when when Lola passed away. I think it's, it's a pretty cool song that was finished through two different seasons. sumusulat ng mga gantong kanta. <laughs> Mag R&B na tayo sa next album mo. <laughs> Heaven above. 
I forgot about this. This is, um, it's called Ang Paglisan. But now, it's Nakatulong ba? So, patawad pa alam mas originally Ang Paglisan. That's good. If I could name our top three people who I loved working with the most, RG would be on top of that list. He's not only hardworking or talented but he's also one of the kindest best people i know
This is We and Us. The story of this song was actually uh, Kuya Joaquin Pedro Valdez. He proposed to his girlfriend then by sticking uh, post-its on the wall. And that's why it's rainbow notes up on the wall. There was one time they were caught in the rain and, and instead of being sulky about it, they decided to dance. Na lang. That's why dancing children under rainfall. They loved sunsets. That's why they put Perfect sunset set to them. It's you and me against the wor world. It's we and us. That's why it's we and us. And so I, I put a melody to it. I added another verse. I added the bridge. And it became their wedding song. That's the story of we and us. Rainbow notes upon the walls Dancing children in the rain falls Perfect sunset set to ten Then we begin again Ooh. Represent 
meant to do this forever It's gonna be you and me We and us Oh, you and me We and us Oh, you and me We and us forever It will be Cause no matter if our blue skies turn to gray There's a ray of sun that's brown to light our way And although the roads are rough, we'll get through it just because I'll have my you You'll have your me So why did you decide to make halfway point? A lot of times I feel like giving up when I'm already halfway there. And sometimes I forget that I'm halfway there. Because most times it's easier to see the cup half empty than half full. The great thing about music is once it's tied to an emotion it brings you back to that moment but then now you listen to it again and then you realize it's not hurting me the way it used to i must have grown yung sometimes you stop halfway because you feel like wala kang progress yeah and then you look back and then nakita mo na ang layo na pala ng narating god is gonna be with us the whole way he won't leave us at the half.